Alright, hey guys, Gigi, and after what seemed like a while, I finally figured out how to pack a punch in round one. So when you first start out, you just want to go ahead and jump straight into the hole. Don't even bother, like, shooting the zombies here. And then you want to pick up the Remington from there and go ahead and draw it on the uh, question mark there. Then that gives you a thousand points to start out with. So now you want to make your way to the jail cell where the giant Leroy is stationed at. And you're just going to want to go ahead and free him. So pick up the key unlock the door and go ahead and give him some booze and then he'll destroy and get out of there so now um what you can do is that while you're waiting for the zombies to spawn go ahead and load a full clip onto their leg and then go ahead and knife them so i suggest aiming for the knee because um that's pretty accurate and um now you just want to unlock this door and you're just gonna go ahead and build the trample steam so if you guys need a guide for that i'll put it um in the description below so now you basically take this trample steam and put it right here in this like little barn area and um once you have it down you're just gonna go ahead and jump across now what you're trying to do is um go to the chalk room and go ahead and uh, grab the chalk off of there because that is what gives you the points needed to be able to pack a punch so now with this first part, you just want to um, make your way here and up these stairs is where you're going to place that. And now with AK-47U, um, the second location is going to be in front of the jail cell. So go ahead and make your way there and put the chalk in. Now for this part, you're going to go ahead and go back to the barn and you need to pick up the uh, trample steam again and place it like in front of the um, speed cola. So now you're just going to make your way across. And then on to the question mark over here. And then um, there you go. You have that. Now you just want to pick up your trample steam again and place it back to where you had it before. And now you're going to get this. And the next part, you have to go through these tunnels. And um, you're actually going to be able to turn on the power this way. So just follow here. And um, just follow exactly where I go. And then um, right here is the next question mark. You can go ahead and place it there. And now to turn on the power just go this way and then boom you have the power on be sure it is very important i don't want you guys to like go ahead and do all the steps and then it's not there but um now you're gonna find the booze again so i was lucky to have it back in the jail cell and um if it's not in the jail cell go to the saloon and you have to unlock it with the barrier do not unlock the door it costs more points so now i'm just gonna uh, make the giant follow you and uh hopefully he does and you're just gonna take the route that i take and it's not that very hard so that is how you get down there without wasting any points. And so I don't think maybe a lot of people would like have some trouble with that. So you're going to want to make him um, crash through this berry where the uh, vulture aid is. And then boom, there you go. Now you want to make your way back to get the uh, last chalk. So now go ahead and make your way there. Just past these tunnels again. And um, what you're actually going to uh, have to do. So right, you come out through here. You're going to have to make this jump, so it's actually not that hard, so it should be pretty easy for you. And then, um, just go down the stairs again, right to the last chalk. So there we go. And then now, you just want to make your way back to, um, oh yeah, also grab the B23R real quick, because this will help you against the uh, ghost lady. So just make your way back to where uh, you made Leroy destroy the recent barrier uh, near the vulture aid or in the church. And then now you're just going to want to go upstairs and then boom, right there is the last question mark. And that gives you 2,000 points for doing that. So now you have more than enough points needed to go ahead and do this. So now put the trample steam here and that's going to get you across. You don't need like more booze to destroy the barrier. You can just shoot the trample steam there. And then now get prepared to fight this ghost lady. Now do not let her touch you. Keep a distance and be very careful. So shoot your ammo, make sure she's dead. And it's really sometimes a matter of luck. And it really does take several tries to do this and can get really annoying when you have to do it like over and over again. But I guess the more times you do it, the, you know, you know, pretty much the, the routine. So I was just pretty much careful waiting for her to come out because I didn't want to run up and then she's like right at me at the corner. That was very lucky. And, um, right after you take care of her, there should be, just, yeah, just make sure of that last one there. And then there should be, like, two more that comes out here. And then, uh, you just want to wait. They probably come out through the left, like, right there. So, once you pick them off, like, right there, you get your free perk. I was able to get, uh, stamina up, and I kind of got lost in the maze. So, um, you don't want to go the exact direction i went because it's going to be randomized like pretty much so 
um, I was luckily able to find my way through, but you want to make sure that you want to avoid the zombies because like in two hits you're down unless you have the uh, persistent jug. And you want to um, make sure you don't kill them. Now I think I was able to leave like two alive because you know I didn't want one like randomly dying out of nowhere and that would completely suck if you just like were so close and then the round just changed so um, I finally found my way through you just go down these steps and be sure like watch out for the cracks below you don't want to fall down and die after all this time and here I finally pack a punch I was like super excited I was like yeah I finally got the achievement and then you're gonna get 30 gamer score and everything will be just all right and now um confirmed it thanks guys